This year's Christmas Village scene. I expanded it a little this year because I added a few things. You saw some of my other videos, you'll notice that I acquired the Nutcracker Suite Theater, which was a real bear to uh, rebuild. Don't buy one of those broken. <laughs> That's it, if I could give you any advice. Pick one of those up working. Anyway, there's some really cool pieces here, some classics. This is a holiday skater, skaters, uh, circa 1885. This is a Mr. Christmas piece, I love this. Very nice. Another one that I really like. This is the Holiday Lighthouse by Mr. Christmas, and we got Santa moving around there. Kind of cool. Uh, my chapel's not lit right yet. Gonna get on that. Nor is the firehouse. And there's one other uh, that isn't. Everything else is, though. Uh, most of these pieces came from one set, where you see the Oak Hill Village on them, on the houses. This I kind of made myself. I added the Christmas lights and I added those street lights. Little switch there. Should clean it up somehow. It's one of my original pieces. It's kind of nice. Very old. And here's the house that's not working. Now, uh, the merry-go-round is also a Mr. Christmas piece. I bought this broken, but this was not that hard to fix. And it's also missing one rail. Not that big of a deal. I'll look for it. I mean, I look for it every year and I see them, but they want a trillion dollars. Now, the spinning airplane ride. Uh, I got that after Christmas at a, a little pharmacy called CVS. Uh, used to be Savon and now they're CVS, I guess. Uh, I bought that for $4, uh, in their, you know, yellow tag sale. Regularly, I don't know, 24 bucks, I guess. It was also broken. Yeah, one of the planes had come off and I was able to reattach it. So $4 and a little fix and a nice little setup there. But that is not a Mr. Christmas piece. It just kind of adds to the flavor. Uh, that's pretty much, oh, and I changed my train. The light on the engine isn't working. I gotta figure that out. And this one's running off of double A's. The, uh, my other one ran off of C's. So the thing I liked about my other train with C's is that it lasted a long time. This one I noticed if you leave it running, you only get about uh, three to four hours and then she starts running dead. But, this one does a couple of cool things. This one, first of all, you hear that sound? It kind of makes the sound of a real locomotive, which is cool. But if you drop a couple drops of vegetable oil down the stack, she'll smoke. Like a real locomotive. And it's, a, it's more Christmassy than my older locomotive. So, um, that's why I went with it. The only thing is it just doesn't have longevity. So I extended my village this year by adding a piece which starts right about here. And it goes out. You see the leg that opens it. Um, mostly because of all the extra pieces I added. My village was just getting too big. So pretty much this is it. This is my uh, Mr. Christmas... Uh, Mostly, a lot of other pieces, but some key Mr. Christmas pieces are really, this is my, I'm pride and joy right there, the Nutcracker Suite. Really love that. Like I said before though, don't buy one broken. Oh my God, there's like a thousand pieces, parts in that thing. I did a video on the repair of that. So you can already tell my, my locomotive's running dead. Those are last year's batteries. So, um, yeah, she just doesn't have the endurance with those double A's like it did with my, my other train with the C. I wonder if there's any way I can modify that. Hmm, I'll have to take a look at that. 
Okay, well, thank you for watching. Like always, you guys have a great day and a better life. See ya.